post workflow was completed entirely inside of DaVinci Resolve. I've used uh, DaVinci for Blackmagic uh, cameras and for other cameras. This is the first time I've ever used Resolve for, obviously, for an Apple product. Using uh, a phone as a camera, there are certain anomalies that are present that normally you are not a problem just for a phone user, but when you're doing high contrast production work, for example, like smoke and things like that, or in high contrast where you have deep shadows and strong highlights, DaVinci Resolve will solve those problems. Originally, we were actually kind of worried because we're shooting such a dark scene. We picked a scene that's very typical of Roy Wagner's lighting style, which is dynamic and on an iPhone, we were pushing it, but once we started shooting, once we started putting it in Resolve and seeing what that can do, we had a DaVinci Resolve panel on set, so we were able to immediately color grade some of the shots and see how they compared to the original. We also began editing the scene in Resolve on set, so that gave us a huge head start in post-production. This project was cut, colored, and edited all inside of DaVinci Resolve Studio, including some split-screen VFX comps and fusion. The ability to stay inside of this one application is what really made it possible to turn this project around in just two days. So overall, extremely fun project to be a part of. Um, the results are really fun, awesome. I think uh, you'll have a good time taking a look at the side-by-side -side comparison between film and iPhone. Uh, we also have a full making of documentary that's on the Video Village Pro YouTube channel. We hope everyone uh, can take a look at it and, and share it and get something useful and, and learn something from it.